Hi everyone, this is Nevi and today I'll show you how to make my image picker and preview gallery. So first of all, I'll show you the demo. So here we have a button which when the user clicks, they can select the source from which um, the image will come from. I will pick camera, take a picture, and then it appears in this preview where the user can then choose to take another picture. And let's take a third one so you can see that it goes onto a, another row. And then the user can preview the picture that was uh, uploaded, well, not it uploaded, but picked. And the user can also select to remove images. Okay, so here, um, the first thing I'll show you how the data is structured. So here we have a picked images list of objects, which has no schema at all. So there's no ID, nothing. You can set this to be a file schema. So define all the fields that come from the, this file picking, but I'm, I go with minimal effort. So this is what it is. Um, and then there's the, button which opens the action sheet where you can choose between the options and so forth. I think I'll just get to constructing so you can see for yourself how it's done. First I'll add the button which will be the button for selecting images. I'll just put it with a different background here, background color here. Um, th and this is made, as you just saw in the demo, this is only visible before any image has been picked. So only when the page variable of picked images is empty. You can of course also select that this is always visible and then not just do this add more button thingy, but for my use case, I did like this. Then we have the image gallery container. And this one we want to be horizontal and we want to align items and wrap them as you saw, because they, they can go on another row. Then within this image gallery, there are two containers. There is the image container, which shows the preview of all the images that are picked and this add more plus button thingy. So, what we do here is that, well, first of all, we, we set this image container to be, I set this to be 32% and 100 pixels, 32% because I wanted it to have a little bit of a margin so that the images aren't completely like completely glued to each other. Um, but of course that meant that then you couldn't have it at 33% because then the it would go on a second row already after two images. Okay. This here, no growing or shrinking. And the thing is so that we want to repeat this from, from picked images. And w this is not an image, but a container because um, I want there to be the little X in the corner where, where the user can delete the image. So I'll just here like this. So that's why I'm setting the background image of this image container to be the, the path of the picked image. And the thing here is because I didn't set any schema to the page variable, so then it doesn't show up here because there's, it doesn't think there's anything in the current to be used like this. So, but I know there is, I just haven't defined the schema. So I just put the current path using a formula into this background image. And because I want it to look nice while well, I'm developing the app, then I just upload whatever image to show there in the meanwhile. This icon, I'll just give it a little bit of a margin. Here we go. 
make it a little bit smaller perhaps change the color i'm using the slightly off white so that it would have some chance to be visible over completely white but you can choose whatever you feel is best then just to construct the rest of the um the, the, the components i'll just oops no not this one mm, i'll just send it an icon and this one we want to be bigger and i put this as color shadow this should be a plus uh, i'm sorry i'm being blind here and the background then as the secondary background okay now we have all the components in, in the right places so let's start with the logic so this add more container and this button will have the exact same logic because the logic is that the user wants to can pick between a camera or gallery and then that image is put into the page variable for a later upload or whatever you want to do with it so here in the action sheet i'm adding Mm, the options given to the user so open camera and uh, image gallery here we go and then because there's only two options i only need to have one if condition um okay here we're ignoring the other two outputs are if the user cancels the action sheet or if an error occurs and you could give an error message for when an error occurs but i don't care about if the user cancels it so i just do logic only if the user has picked one of the values so here so here the thing is that i want to check that the value if it's camera the, it means the user picked the camera option and if it's not camera then it's the other option which is gallery but of course if you have if you have more than two options then you have have to have another if in case it's something else than camera all right let me just put the rest of these into place we want take photo and pick image from gallery And here you can of course modify the texts and everything if you like i don't care and then i will so they, then i will just go to straight to put in setting the page variable with the new whatever was picked and again only in the case if the user manages to pick something here we're straight led to formula we will use the with item to add into this picked images the output from here and similarly in this pick image we want to do the same thing but of course with the different output here we go mm -hmm. and then we will Take this whole thing and copy paste it over here under the add more button the thing here is that because i used formulas with the outputs and then i copied it the the formula uses the id of the specific act like no logic node so then i have to pick this again because the new copied one of course has a different id so here i go again this is the problem with copy pasting stuff where you have outputs or formulas in general because sometimes you have to then go back and fix things but it's usually still quicker if you have a lot of thing, logic there okay that logic is done then similarly we will have in this little x icon we will have the logic for removing um, 
for removing this whatever image from the selection of images. I will use the without item for it. So, and here you just remove the current one because of the whole full file. Of course, it doesn't recognize the current, but that's because of the lack of schema. And here, what happens from here is that I'll show you right right away. I'm opening. I have made a page image preview which has a parameter called image path where I will path the current path and this image preview page oh wait I want to open this in a model this image preview page shows the image as as a bigger version like so like as big as it can be on the screen so if the if the user still wants to look at it again so what's, what's on this page is simply that it gets the param of image path and then it just puts the image path in this, this, this container where it's an icon and the background image is the params image path. And this icon here is just supposed to, this is only needed for iOS because you can't go back from a model in iOS without having some button or something to go back. So here I have this navigate back thing. So here you could then add the logic of only showing this when it's on Android. Hmm, system variable, let's see, was it OS? If it's iOS, then show it, otherwise don't show it. All right, let's see how it works. Just a moment, I have to open the app again. Here we go. Oh, okay, right here, I can already see this this container and I'm not supposed to see it, so I forgot to put this, this to be only visible when the picked images is not empty, like so. Okay, here we go. All right, and then can remove this, remove that. Of course, you have to be very careful. The user has to see where they click and open this image. Okay. That's all for this time. If you have any questions, please post them on the forums. And if you have any ideas of what kind of tutorials you would like, please also post that. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.